absolutely. Let's move on to our second story. Now, the chief of army staff being to Kurburatai today assured soldiers wounded while fighting Boko Haram insurgents that their sacrifices will not be in vain. Now, reading down on reports, Mr. Burutai gave the assurance during a visit to soldiers on the admission of the 7 Division Medical Services and Hospital in Maiduguri. The visit was in celebration of Idel Kabir, and the COAS represented by the commander, Nigerian Army Medical Corps, Ikechuku Okeke, described the soldiers as heroes of peace. He said that the army would provide all medical support for their quick recovery. Now, Samuel Adama, the doctor in charge of the hospital praised the chief of army staff for demonstrating love and affection to the wounded soldiers. Quote on quote, he stated, the Eid al-Kabir celebration is a period of compassion and resilience towards achieving lasting peace in the region and the nation. We commend the chief of army staff and other commanders for the support to the hospital. Brig Gen Bulumabiu, the acting general officer commanding 7th Division of the Nigerian Army, also described the wounded soldiers as heroes and ambassadors of peace, adding that their sacrifices could not be quantified. NAN reports that dignitaries at the occasion included commanders and principal officers of the division, family members and well wishers of the wounded soldiers. Olive, I don't think we can get enough of praising our soldiers. Very true, we can. Now, as much as I must applaud, you know, mm. the chief of army staff, Toko Boratai, for going to up their morale, it's very important. You know, we talk a lot about body language. Whenever the president doesn't show enough empathy, Nigerians are quick to jump on him to say, oh, your body language wasn't showing enough emotion. It wasn't showing that you're sensitive to the plight of the people. So, yes, him visiting them mm. and then showing his sympathy or showing his empathy is a good body language but then enough but then again how long are we going to keep looking at body language are these people being adequately taken care of these are people that every day put their lives on the line these are people that i i thought about it once after seeing the movie soldier story i asked myself would i be willing to marry a military man knowing that he could go out today to go and defend the country and come back and not come back actually and then what happens to me and what happens to our kids and will the government will the will the country appreciate the sacrifice that was being made i mean i stumbled on an article that was showing the salaries of um, military personnel and I was heartbroken to see some of them were earning as low as 58,000 naira. These are people that put their lives on the line every day and we're not, I don't know if we've done enough. Up until today, Leila, we haven't heard any updates with regards to the Dasuki gate and this is something that affected them directly. Absolutely, and it's such a shame. I can't, I can't take away from that. It is such a shame. And quite frankly, the welfare of security personnel in any society that wants to function should be of the utmost priority to the government. And yes, 58,000 sounds about correct. I have friends in the Nigerian army who tell me that that is what their salary is around that. And I look at it and I question it and I think about it and I'm like, these are people who are literally physically protecting our nation doing everything they can, and it's the most selfless act to do that. Because that means that no matter what anybody says, you are someone who actually loves Nigeria more than you love yourself, and you're also someone who is willing to die for this country. If someone is willing to die for Nigeria, is their life or their monthly allowance only worth 58,000 Naira? Personally, I don't think so. These are people with families to feed, shelter, water, etc., to provide at least the basic necessities of life to. And these are people who also need extra care. Being in the army is not easy. You need to make sure you have the proper psychosocial care, the proper psychological care, because you do get affected by certain things. And it's not an easy job. So honestly, kudos to everybody that is joining forces and coming out there to protect our nation and putting their lives on the front line and saying, you know what, I am willing to go for Nigeria because I love Nigeria more than I love myself. I can never have enough respect respect for you and you deserve as much praise as possible. I mean, classic example would be when T.Y. Bello came on our show and she explained to us how she visited the IDP camps and she visited the war torn zones. And right after she came back to Lagos, she, was, she went through a bit of post-traumatic stress disorder. This is somebody that was not directly involved. Then imagine those who have to be at the war front every day, every week, fighting to prevent, prevent external aggression and to maintain the peace. And at the end of the day, they go through so much trauma at the end of the day, do we appreciate them enough? Every year we celebrate the Armed Forces Remembrance Day on the 15th of January. We did it this year as well here in Nigeria. But the thing is, we don't even have a culture that totally accepts and understands 
what the Armed Forces Remembrance Day is all about. I think the most we do is, you know, we just watch on TV as the president goes to lay rest, you know. But at the end of the day, we find that if you do a comparison to the UK, everybody understands the importance of Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Everybody wears the poppy. Here in Nigeria, early this year, they literally, I was at the supermarket. Somebody was going around trying to convince people to buy. And I could see that people were not even accepting. People were not warm. Their disposition was really cold. And then on the show, I had to make sure that I bought for myself and for our other co-hosts to ensure that we did our bit to celebrate our armed forces. So kudos to them, like Leila has said. We celebrate you, we appreciate you. And we are hoping that it will go beyond talk of appreciation to seeing that these people are giving up their lives for a worthy cause and that the labors indeed of our heroes past will not be in vain. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.